This is James Hendricks with the Black Sheep Reports. And I'm just getting over the flu today. But I had I wanted to make this video because it's election day in my home state of Missouri. And libtards and Republican rhinos are in full charge. I've been asked a lot, James, who are you voting for? What do you think of the elections? And I'm going to give you a very simple answer. It's a piece of shit. Okay, now, yeah, end of story, by the way. Don't get caught up in the hype and the fucking debates about is Donald Trump a sexist and a bigot? Is Ted Cruz part of the establishment? Oh, what about Clinton? Stop. You're just confused. You don't get it. You've forgotten how to judge correctly. Take a deep breath. Look at it again. Oh, it's a piece of shit. Exactly. That's all it is. Nothing more. S say it, piece of shit, and walk away. But James, isn't it important to vote? What about Sanders being a socialist or Clinton and Benghazi? You're getting really baffled here. Piece of shit. Now walk away. That's all it is. It's nothing more. Free yourself, folks. If you see it, piece of shit, say it and walk away. You're right. Not those fuckers who want to tell you what to do, what to think. You're fucking right. The thing I hear the most is, well, James, if you don't vote, you can't complain. They say that if you don't vote, you didn't do something that could influence government in the way you want it to go. You didn't put in even a minimal effort into making a change. The problem is the individual vote does not make any difference. On the most optimistic assessment of the individual votes, votes in say that the U.S. presidential elections can have as high as a 1 in 10 million chance of breaking a tie. But only if you're in a swing state and if for the vote one of those two major candidates. Otherwise, the chance of breaking tire have very small to any impact on election. This is like me saying to someone this morning who complained about being poor. Me telling him, well, if you're not playing the lottery every day, you forfeit your right to complain about being poor. The problem, the problem with poor people is they just don't buy enough Powerball tickets. Now, is it the poor person's fault for being poor because they didn't buy enough Powerball tickets in the rigged game? No. Well, this is the exact same thing with voting. Your vote doesn't, doesn't matter, yet if you don't vote, you can't complain. How is that any way a useful thing to say? Oh, you didn't vote, then you can't complain. You can't give your thoughts on a subject. Freedom of speech? Oh no, you don't get to have that because you wasn't a good American and vote red or blue. Stop depending on a politician or a reality star to change this country around. You want to make a change? Then do it yourself. If you keep depending on someone else to make this country great again, then nothing will ever change. This is James Hendricks with the Black Sheep Reports. Subscribe if you're new. Links are below. And don't forget to check us out on Facebook. Our page is media on 9-11. Thank you.